Southeast Asia is home to three megadiverse countries, Indonesia, Malaysia, and the Philippines, where some of the world's biodiversity hotspots are also found. Second to habitat loss, illegal wildlife trade has driven many threatened species to brink of extinction and continues to pose grave risks to human well-being. Recent years have seen a deeply alarming surge of IWT in Southeast Asia, where wildlife are illegally caught and traded as pets, medicine, food, and souvenir. And the Philippines has become a significant source, transit, and destination point for the increasingly sophisticated and organized crime. Now the world's fourth most lucrative transnational crime, illegal wildlife trade is valued up to 10 billion to 23 billion US dollars each year, and estimated to be worth up to 50 billion pesos a year in the Philippines. A fast evolving global crisis like no other, illegal wildlife trade requires a response that moves beyond borders. The Philippines and Indonesia, two global conservation priority areas, have reached an important milestone for cross-border cooperation to combat illegal wildlife trade on July 27, 2020. Following months of coordination between the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, Biodiversity Management Bureau, the DNR Region 11, the Department of Agriculture Bureau of Animal Industry, the Embassy of the Republic of Indonesia in Manila and its consulate in Davao City, the CITES management authorities have agreed to repatriate animals smuggled to the Philippines back to their origin country of Indonesia. From a total of 450 individuals of birds, mammals, and reptiles apprehended in a by-bust operation on April 8, 2019 in Mati City, Davao Oriental, only 111 survived, 20 of which were retained in Davao Crocodile Park due to physical health concerns, while 91 were found fit for repatriation. The repatriation is a result of the bilateral agreement between the governments of Indonesia and the Philippines. And the repatriation process took a lot of significant time from both countries by observing a lot of protocols, international laws, and processes. The first one observed is the process of, of the permits provided for by the CITES or the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of wild flora and fauna. We secured the uh, veterinary health clearance from the Bureau of Animal Industry in the Philippines to make sure that these repatriated animals are free from diseases. We also secured the transportation and to make sure that the documentations are orderly. We also made sure that the concerned individuals or authorities from both countries are present during the actual repatriation so that they will be witnessing the repatriation process.
Repatriating this endemic uh, species back to Indonesia assures that they will be protected and their conservation will be assured, especially so that they will be put back to their natural habitat and to their natural distribution. It fosters international solidarity between these two countries, considering that they are both members of ASEAN and both working against illegal wildlife trade. The process of repatriation is a way to prove to the Indonesian government that the Philippines is one with them in combating illegal wildlife trade and we are not patronizing any illegal activities here in the Philippines. We are happy now that this endemic wildlife are now in their natural habitat and they are being protected by the national government of Indonesia.